Hey Cancer, I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, as I was meditating on your energy, I was getting something about things being interwoven. I was getting hands like this and feeling the um, stability and security within that. So maybe us tightening up things within ourselves, maybe us tightening up a bond with another. Um, before we get into it, I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good okay cancer let's get into it i'm very happy to be here with you all Okay, we're starting off with strength. Calling on our strength to face something that we need to face. I'm seeing that maybe before we weren't so readily looking at something, but now we're, I'm here and gathering the strength, okay, to see this thing through, whatever this is, Cancer. There may have been a conflict going on. I'm looking at Leo. I'm looking at Pisces. Neptune. We're seeing that we're being guided to perceive this. I'm hearing from a different point of view, okay? And I'm getting that we're also being guided to kind of remove ourselves. It's like the chaos is going on over here and we're being guided over here. And also to be in a place where we feel um, we feel grounded as well emotionally. Okay, I'm seeing heavy heavy Leo energy here, Cancer. I'm looking at um, I'm hearing us coming to the realization. Maybe that we were undergoing a karmic test hearing a spiritual test which they're kind of synonymous with each other and i'm seeing that we are being guided to look deeply within and to completely completely end whatever chaos whatever conflict this is that we're involved in this can also be conflict, feeling conflicted within ourselves about something, okay? But I'm seeing that in ending, in ending whatever conflict this is, that we come out in a very good place because we're triumphant and we've looked within. I'm hearing shedding light on the shadows. We may have been guided, um to set boundaries, to be very clear in our communication with someone, possibly with a Pisces. This can also be us using our intuitive abilities to communicate um, as we see fit, I'm getting. This was definitely a lesson for us about speaking up.
because I'm getting that when we do the reflecting, it helps us with um, with seeing what it is we're being guided to do. I'm also looking now at a collaboration, also at something that, um, maybe a collaboration that we're in, one that, um, one that we may not have had full view of, I'm getting. But I'm seeing that whatever, whatever dynamic this is that we're working within, it's, um, it's something that's going to be beneficial to our emotional happiness. I'm hearing happy feelings. I was looking at the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And now I'm looking at the Ten of Pentacles. There's a collaboration that we're being guided into that's going to be very beneficial for us. Maybe with a person that um, that we're going to be introduced to, I'm getting. This can also be with us stepping into our power as well. I'm seeing that we're alchemizing something regarding us communicating, okay? with someone we find attractive in the 3D. Somebody in in some sort of leadership leadership position. I'm seeing that we may be being guided to communicate with somebody at a distance from us. I'm getting that is if they're not the ones communicating with us. I'm seeing us in um, in a receptive energy. However, this doesn't mean that we're not going to be calling things out as well and communicating because it takes two to communicate. I'm seeing that um, a judgment is being called, being called out. Something about the position that we're in right now because we may be feeling like we're at a crossroads with something cancer. Maybe with a dynamic that we're in with somebody. This can also be with our money too. I'm seeing that we're being guided to... Guided to alchemize things going on in our physical environment. This can also be us engaging with things in the physical environment as well in the 3D. I'm looking at Sag, I'm looking at Capricorn. I'm seeing that we may be at a crossroads with um, with a boss, with our money, with a job. And I'm seeing that we are being guided to be calling things out right now. I'm hearing based off of what we're observing. This is going to going to change a situation for us because I'm seeing that we may be feeling disappointed about something that we're seeing but I'm getting that we're being guided in a different direction now and also guided to guided to use our senses our gifts our abilities to help us transcend whatever confusion this is that we're feeling getting a reminder too there may be somebody that you're meaning to reach out to um that you may have forgotten to reach out to cancer and always heed your intuition that may just be for a specific person i'm hearing don't forget Manifesting assistance with a new venture that we're on.
Hearing Powered by Our Ideas. Somebody's coming in towards us, okay? I'm getting this. Somebody coming in towards you, Cancer. In this kind of energy, if this is not you with another. Somebody that you have, um, a, I'm hearing a deep connection with, okay? Remember, two energies can always be reversed because cross watchers are a thing. Okay. We are being guided to call out what our Ten of Pentacles is going to look like, which is communicating about what we feel brings us stability, harmony. I'm hearing emotional contentment, and I'm seeing that we're being guided to start a new beginning away from this energy. Maybe because that's the energy somebody was in and we're being guided away from whatever dynamic that is. I'm getting that like cancer. When we look within, we're seeing that we're being guided to start a new beginning, to take a leap of faith, to find the things that um, truly are going to satisfy us. I'm hearing in the soul space. I'm hearing the soul of the universe. Yes. There's somebody um, that we're being guided to, um, to communicate with as we have now recognized them being in a dishonest energy, okay? If this is not you with another Cancer... We may be in our heads about communicating with this person, okay? But I'm getting that... I'm hearing it's required, okay? In order for us to step away from disappointment and step into our new beginning. Because I'm getting that this person is in, in immature energy where... Love and light to everybody. Where they need room, they need space to grow, okay? So this is why we're being guided away from this person. And to start our new beginning... Because I'm getting that this is where we're going to find our emotional happiness. And I'm seeing that there's something going on with a dynamic with somebody that we do feel a really strong soul connection to. But we're being guided to temper this. We're also being guided to move into a place where we're meditating and getting connected with our guides as well because I'm getting that they're they're guiding you through whatever process this is and I'm seeing that there's a change because we want to transition into our equal give and take. It's like when we decide to make this decision to move away from this dynamic that we have with somebody who has not been being honest with us, that we're now moving into a place where we're going to find our reciprocity. And I'm getting that there is a transition that um, I'm hearing that's taking place. This may be a surprise that this is happening. Because I'm getting that we're being guided to heal from this Knight of Wands energy that we were interacting with. And this is part of our journey. Also part of the progress that we've made. Moving away from that energy. Moving away from feeling like this. I'm hearing I know sorrows.
Yeah, there's um there's fast paced movement that's going to be going on. A very big change that's gonna happen with whatever conflict. Whatever chaos this had been that was going on. And I'm seeing our reciprocity. I'm hearing coming through for us. I'm looking at us stepping into a role where we feel very much in charge of things going on. This can be at work. This can be with our money in the home. And I'm seeing that because we have decided to heal and follow, I'm hearing the guided path. We are now seeing the things that we've manifested come down for us along the journey and this has all been a guided process for us hearing part of the contract cancer and us walking along on the guided path is also what brings us clarity and i'm seeing that somebody may come may be coming in um coming in towards you cancer i'm hearing aquarius um and I'm hearing delivering um, clarity for us. Maybe about a new direction that we're going in. We're being guided to, um, to remove ourselves from a poverty mindset, step into our power, and um, I'm hearing take on this new beginning. You see, we're transitioning now. It's like we were guided to start something new. And now we're ready to face a decision along this path that we're taking to continue. And having victory. I'm hearing with sticking to the plan, Cancer. I'm also hearing don't give up. So there may be something going on that you are feeling stressed by or like things aren't working out. And it's like you're almost there. Don't give up. I'm seeing a collaboration at work. And I'm seeing that there's harmony now that comes because we are transcending this poverty mindset. Stepping into our power, calling in harmony. Harmony meets whatever... Um, I'm hearing comparison. Harmony meets whatever dynamic this is that we have going on i'm seeing that there's an offer coming in for us as we step into our power i'm getting that we're doing something involving our passions and that there's a new opportunity heading our way Something that's really going to change things up for us, Cancer. Something that Spirit's guiding your way. I'm looking at the Hierophant pointing at the Ace of Wands. And now pointing at the collaboration, which is what we see when we look within. I'm hearing what we see coming. Because we've manifested this, and this was part of... Um, part of a lesson, part of a karmic test. I'm getting that this is allowed in now because we've cleared the heart chakra and this is our justice. We're being, um, I'm hearing repaid, maybe because of something that we went through, maybe because we stayed in alignment with our moral integrity and got to a place where we felt grounded regardless of the stressful situations that we were experiencing. I'm hearing manifesting solutions. Cancer. I was looking at a lot of air energy. Aquarius came out twice in that last spread. I was looking at Sag as well. Leo's like, don't forget about me. Leo's here too. And Libra.
Okay, one more spread, Cancer. Thank you, everybody, for being here. An offer coming in where equality meets intuition. And we begin the new venture we've been manifesting. Something's going to be changing with our money and with our... I'm hearing... Um, I'm hearing stature. Interesting. Our hard work is what brings us assistance with this thing that we've manif manifested. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm getting. It's no longer something that we're manifesting because this is something we have manifested. So we've accomplished whatever this thing is. I'm hearing something about revealing, okay? I'm seeing us working very hard. I'm hearing chipping away as something that we've been working on. Victory, success. Hearing something about the breakdown. It's like we may have been in a chaotic spot before, but things are about to calm down for us, Cancer. A change coming our way. Because of some offer that's coming in. And I'm getting that um, your intuition is trying to guide you through something. Whatever offer this is coming in, I'm getting that it's going to be balancing things out. We just have to see it when it comes in. I'm hearing recognize. Because we're moving into... I'm hearing being a part of it, Cancer. We may be getting news about somebody at a distance from us, and I'm seeing that we're being guided to um, to not let ourselves fall into the pit. I'm hearing the trap of feeling disappointed. It's like, your work is going to pay off. You just need to stay, um, I'm hearing remain patient, okay, with whatever it is that we're doing. It's like, keep keep going. You are almost there. Whatever this thing is that you've been working on, Cancer. There's a huge surprise coming for you. I'm looking at temperance falling off the table. You're not going to feel disappointed anymore and you're not going to be up at night worrying because there's something huge coming. Cancer. I'm getting we're taking a leap of faith. I'm getting that we're also really, um, really being guided to alchemize adapt to what's going on and i'm getting that something brand new is coming our way we're moving into a new place that we have not gotten to yet falling over our reciprocity i'm looking at our pursuit of happiness being at this place where there felt like there was um kind of a standstill and we didn't know which direction that we were going on but we knew that we needed to continue and maybe felt like we were planning out what we were going to do next this is part of um, part of the lesson. We may have been feeling like we were being slowed down by something. I'm getting that this is all divinely guided. I'm hearing divine timing and I'm seeing that what we have manifested, I just saw 2442. What we have manifested is coming down for us, Cancer. This is about something that we've manifested landing down for us tangibly in our physical environment. This can have to do with money. 
This can have to do with energy. And I'm seeing that we're going to be moving into a dynamic with someone. Someone with knowledge that is going to help us out. And I'm seeing that there may be also a spiritual upgrade that's coming down for us. I'm getting that our intuition is guiding us to move through something. And when we're being guided to move away from something, to move away from whatever that thing is, okay? And I'm seeing a physical offer this can be a job offer some sort of stable offer coming down for us something that we wanted to come in towards us landing in our physical environment hearing the tangible 3d i'm getting us getting connected with our guides as well through whatever this is it's like do not let the 3d taint your connection to your emotions nor doubt your intuition because the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor because of the progress that you've made that you continue making and i'm getting that we're being called to ground because there may have been something going on that we were in our heads about this can also be self-doubt self-sabotaging behavior but i'm getting that we're healing from this Something could have been happening with um, with a male figure in our lives. This can also be a, a boss, a masculine figure. We're speaking solely on energy, not gender, friends. But I'm seeing that, that we're healing whatever this is in the shadow space so we can move into. Um, it's like we're not engaging anymore. It's like we've recognized self-limiting beliefs and we're now moving into a place where we feel respected. We feel like we can be um, we can be trusted because we're trusting ourselves and trusting others that we feel we can trust, that we feel safe with. And this is how we transcend confusion as well, by relying on our intuition to tell us and you know, guide us through. And I'm getting that by, I'm hearing taking heed of the knowledge of the high priestess, which is about our knowledge that is obtained through self-work, through looking within, through finding our spiritual enlightenment, that we shed all of the stress that we're feeling. And I'm seeing that this is where we are landing upon our journey. I'm hearing uniting the halves, Cancer. And I'm getting that by us using our throat chakra as well, that we are moving into um, moving into a new place because we're working on clearing the heart, clearing the throat, and pulling in harmony. It's like... By feeling the things that we feel, by listening, um, by getting in touch with our intuition and calling things out. I'm hearing by validating ourselves, Cancer. We're calling in harmony. This means that people that hold harmony within them are going to be drawn towards us as well. And this is all because we've decided to, to end cycles that we knew karmically we were being guided to end. Because I'm seeing that um, there was something big that we had a difficult time ending, but I'm seeing that we knew that it needed to be this way, and so we're going through with it. And I'm seeing that a spiritual upgrade comes because of this, because of the strength that we have to endure whatever this thing is. I'm hearing adapting to the changes and the possibilities. I'm 
I'm seeing too that spirit is guiding somebody in to bring clarity to us. To call things out about what we had been worrying about before. Because spirit does not want us worrying. And I'm seeing that um, there is some sort of offer of connectivity of sentiment coming our way, Cancer. This can be with anybody that we feel an emotional connection to. I'm hearing a divine connection to, okay. And isn't any soul connection a divine connection? Even our connections with ourselves, I'm hearing especially. Okay, I'm seeing that we are being guided to step into our power. Leave behind energies like this, okay? I'm hearing walk away. Look within. I'm hearing listening to the inner light to manifest the things that we wish. The things that we want to see come to fruition. I'm seeing judgment being called. There may have been delays that we had. There may have been something going on in an interpersonal relationship. Maybe the delay of an interpersonal relationship because judgment was being called. Something needed to be sorted out. And I'm seeing that we're being guided to um, to hold on to this thing that we're manifesting. This harmony that we're manifesting. This union. I'm hearing bond. I'm hearing unionship that we're manifesting. Okay. This can be our tight relationships with another, with ourselves. I'm seeing major healing work that we're doing and a celebration because we're removing ourselves from chaos. I'm hearing sorting through conflict, okay? With energies that were not in a place to be clear and honest with us. And now we're getting to a place where we're having the strength to go through death, rebirth, and transform and reach... I'm hearing a new level of enlightenment. I'm looking at Pisces being enlightened, and I'm seeing that there's a victory that comes. I'm hearing as we enter this space. I'm hearing emotional space. I'm hearing spiritual space. Us setting down boundaries, even though we didn't know what the outcome might be. And I'm getting that this is a message coming in about a soul contract, about us stepping into the place where we're being led by spirit. Not to get caught up getting into a poverty mindset and to walk away from anything that did not feel um, emotionally fulfilling to us, spiritually fulfilling to us, and move into a place of honesty, clarity, and integrity. Stepping into our power, removing ourselves from the mind maze. And deciding what we want to do on the next steps of our venture. I'm seeing us getting into a place where we feel very capable. Where we feel like we are leading something out. And I'm seeing that there's justice that comes down for this decision that we were having a hard time facing. I just saw 3333. Three, three, three. Something being balanced out about... Something that we had been blind to before and I'm seeing that there's an offer now that comes in for us. For the Ten of Pentacles and getting through all of this was part of the karmic test. For us to step into a place where we feel secure, where we feel stable, where we feel like things are okay in our home. Where we feel a sense of safety, I'm hearing in that place. All right, Cancer, I want to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for being here. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye, Cancer.